this is the final result simulated spot process four colors uh, gray base the skull have gray base and then yellow color yellow color the third color is red and then the final which is the white highlight white highlight to make the design more alive or more cool I think Assalamualaikum and hi everyone welcome back I'm Rashid here and this is Cendana Apparel I'm sorry I didn't make a new content for you guys for the last couple of months the last of my content I think about four months back uh, a lot of happened and it's okay uh, but now I'm back and I'm ready to share with you all of my new content uh, I'm going to share with you all of my progress here all of my tips and so on so today we're going to print this design the simulated spot process four colors uh, we got a gray base uh, yellow red and also white highlight okay uh, we're going to use a plastisol ink on a black t-shirt okay let's go My film is 13 inch time 19. 13 inch time 19. The resolution is 300. Uh, color mode is RGB. I'm gonna print this design on A3 size. So my film is A3 plus. So I put the artboard as 13 time 19. Okay. And then click OK. Uh, and then insert our image place this is our image okay don't forget to rasterize it first press enter okay and then uh, make a black background make a black background And then merge, merge, merge the layer, okay? Merge the layer. So, okay. Control or command zero to full screen. Okay, duplicate to make a comparison. Control or command zero, okay. This one is why we're going to do the separation. And this one is for the comparison, okay? Okay, go to channel here create a new layer name it as black t-shirt we're gonna print on a black t-shirt black t-shirt okay okay first we're gonna do uh, the gray base select all the RGB channel select all the RGB channel and then load channel as selection and then beside it save channel as selection okay Press Ctrl or Command D. Don't forget to deselect first. Okay. Uh, name it as Gray Base. Gray Base One. Gray Base One. Okay. Double click on it. Uh, go to Spot Color. Solidity is eighty five percent. Change to Gray because we're gonna print on uh, black T-shirt. The base I'm gonna do as the Gray Base. And then click OK. Okay, don't forget to press Ctrl or Command I to invert. Okay, sorry, this one have to be black because this is a black T-shirt. Okay, okay. Next color is I'm gonna select yellow and then red and then white highlight. Okay, because the other channel have no information. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Press RGB, select RGB here. Go to select top here, go to color range and then select red or yellow uh, and then green. So, see the green have no information here, cyan also no information, blue no information, magenta no information. Okay, so first color I'm gonna put as yellow and then click OK. 
and then save channel as selection okay save the selected color as a new channel don't forget to press control or command d to deselect first and then rename it as yellow yellow 2 yellow 2 why yellow 2 because this is color number 2 the one the first one is gray base okay press control i or command i to invert the color okay and then double click on here change to spot color solidity is 5% only okay 5% the base uh, and the highlight is 85% but uh, the other color is only 5% so this is yellow change it to yellow okay uh, the third color is red go to RGB select RGB channel here go to top here top here press select uh, go to color range and then select red okay you can also click invert button here so you don't have to press control or command i after that okay uh, okay click okay and then save channel as selection here down here save channel as selection uh, don't forget to press control d or command d to deselect first okay and then name it as uh, red tree red tree okay double click on the image on this layer uh, change to solidity to uh, 5% sorry opposite solidity to 5% don't forget to click the spot color uh, the color is red okay done okay click okay so let's see the outcome okay and the last color is uh, white highlight okay because the white highlight will make the design more uh, alive, more alive. Okay, select color range, select here and go to highlight. Okay, go to highlight and then click OK. Okay, save, save selection uh, as channel. Save selection as channel. Press Control or Command D. Okay, rename to deselect and then rename it as white highlight. White highlight. Okay, double click here. Change to spot color. The solidity for white highlight is 85%. Okay, highlight and the base usually I use the solidity as 85%. Change to white. Click OK. So, this is the design. But, this is not yet finished. Okay, this is not yet finished because we have to do a little bit of adjustment. Okay, first we're gonna adjust. Uh, we're gonna adjust the gray base. Shut down all the color. Turn off all the color and go to gray base. And then, uh, okay, the black t-shirt you have to on. Okay, we're gonna see the outcome. So go on, go on to the gray base and then you press Control or Command L. Okay, Control or Command L, and then adjust it a little bit until you're satisfied don't forget to make a comparison on the original picture okay uh, a little bit a little bit okay i think that's okay i think that's okay that's will do so okay the white highlight we have to adjust the yellow i think the yellow is good Maybe I'm gonna adjust the yellow a little bit. Okay, you have to try and error in the level of adjustment, okay? Because uh, different design we have a different adjustment. It's up to you or it's up to your client. Uh, whichever your client want the color to be brighter, the red to be brighter, the yellow to be brighter, or whatsoever, you have to try it, okay? I think that's okay. And then the red, red, red. I think the red is okay. So the white highlight, you have to reduce it a little bit. Okay, press Control L or Command L, reduce the white highlight a little bit. Okay, I think this will do, and then click OK. 
So, uh, I'm still not satisfied with this result because the white highlight here is uh, overlapping the yellow color. So, I'm going to get rid of it. Also, okay, this one is okay. How to get rid of this? Okay, how to get rid of this? Turn off all other channels. Turn off all other channel, and then you're gonna turn this black color into white color. Okay, so when when we print the film, uh, this information will not be printed. Okay, so go to uh, brush tools. Go to brush tools here. Sorry, select the white highlight channel. Okay, then just turn this information that you don't want into white color okay into white color okay so let's see the result so okay see uh, so we have get rid the highlight here so the yellow color will be on top not the white highlight Okay. Okay. So if you want to reduce the highlight uh, more than this, you can just Control L upon one, Command L, and then reduce it a little bit. Okay. But for me, I think it's okay. I don't want to reduce anymore. Control or Command zero, Control or Command zero to full screen. Oh, I think I think the white highlight is misaligned than the other color. Sorry, I think I uh, when I delete the information, I don't need. So let's see again. Okay, now it's also aligned. This one is also aligned together. This one is also aligned together. Okay. Okay, no problem. Let's proceed. Oh, sorry. No problem. If you want to get rid of this, get rid of this, okay? Uh, like the one that I show you. Turn off other channel. Go to white highlight. Uh, okay. Go to brush tool. Make it white here. Okay. And then. So, uh, the white has been get rid of. Okay. Uh, okay, that's all. So let's make the film. This one is don't need. You can just close this one. Uh, okay. Because that one is for comparison. Okay. This one is the channel that we have been selected. So delete this RGB and black channel. Delete this RGB and black channel. Delete. Just delete. Okay. So. Uh, split this channel split this channel then so let's rearrange this first one is the gray base the second one the second color is yellow the third color is red and the last one is white highlight okay so white highlight so uh, we do for gray base first go to image mode go to bitmap uh, output 600 will do go to ok you can see 45 lpi uh, angle is 22.5 okay then click ok so now it's already has been bitmap so you have to do it on all other channel on all other layer you have to do it here do it here and do it here okay i'm going to show you so go to image mode and go back to grayscale after bitmap and then click ok then save this this is my method to uh, print the design one two two four five if you have under simpler or uh, very 
quick method to do this you can do it okay this is uh, the artboard same as uh, in photoshop 13 times 90 inch 13 times 90 inch uh, file and then uh, where, where is place okay this one place okay place the design click embed top here and then center the design okay send to back so you have your uh, film ready to to print okay okay that's all let's go to printing Okay guys, so the first layer is uh, the light grey, okay? The base is light grey. Okay, so this is the uh, grey base. Just the grey base. So the grey base, I do it for two layer. I do it for two layer. This is the second layer for the grey base. So. This is the second layer for grey base, okay? So let's dry it. So for the second color is yellow. This yellow is not a lemon yellow. I think I use a golden goldenish yellow, okay, like mustard yellow. The third color is deep red color, okay?
So let's paint the last color which is the highlight the white highlight color so this is the last color which is white highlight Okay, it's done. So this is the final result. Okay guys, so this is the final result. Simulated spot process, four colors, uh, gray base, the skull have gray base, and then yellow color, yellow color, the third color is red, and then the final, which is the white highlight. White highlight to make the design more alive or more cool, I think. So I found this design on Google and I think is the best design for uh, I make a practice for my simulated uh, skill so here we are the final result so the, for the final curing I will uh, use uh, heat press for maybe 15 to 20 seconds 150 degree okay let's see, let's see the blending color so this is red blend with yellow and then the grey base blend with white highlight this is yellow blend with uh, red it looks like more uh, light brown color here so this is the grey base blend with the white highlight okay so the zot look like this okay that's it okay guys that's all for today so if you have uh, any question you can uh, write the comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video comment and also share okay assalamualaikum